It was a time of great anticipation. People were looking forward to the year 2000 with both excitement and some with fear. Some folks were nervous about what Y2K would bring, but for one family, what happened that day has haunted them to this day. CBS 17's Rod Carter here tonight with Missing Murdered Unsolved, the case of a young man murdered on New Year's Day. Rod. Yeah, we all think back to how excited we were about that year, but I'm telling you, that day was devastating for a family. Michael Crosby was just 20 years old when he was killed on January 1st, 2000. While everyone was celebrating a new year, his family was now dealing with his untimely and still unsolved murder. January 1st, 2000. It would be an understatement to say that that was the worst day of our family's life. It was a new year. Everything stopped. With new expectations. And everything changed. For Crystal Crosby and her daughter Galandriel, it was the beginning, though, of a nightmare. Michael was a loving, caring son, um, brother. Grandson. On the first day of 2000, someone killed Crystal's 20 year old son, Michael, at this wastewater treatment facility on Mason Farm Road in Chapel Hill. He was shot four times. It is frustrating. Um, I, you know, it is, you know, you're angry. Um, you're hurt. Because to this day, no one has been arrested. And not having justice for Michael. Um, no one deserves to be murdered. Um, everybody deserves their right to life. Police say Michael was at a party the night before. His mom says she knows her son made some poor choices, but the image that's out there about him now is not true. She says he was, at heart, a good guy. He was passionate about art and music. This is one of his drawings, and now they need one major picture cleared up. Who did it? And why? There have always been um, people of interest, um, and um, I feel like we've always known um, who who murdered Michael. And so they have a heartfelt plea. He was a loving, caring individual, and did not deserve this. He deserved to contribute and live his life, <laughs> and so. <laughs> We are asking all of his friends and acquaintances to think about that point in time. And if you have any information, please, please step forward and provide that information. As you can see, it's been a very, very difficult time for the family, just not knowing, having some uh, thought about who did it, but no concrete proof. So what evidence is there? What clues are out there? Coming up tonight at 11, Angela Taylor will take a closer look at the investigation, the case, and the police efforts to solve it. Guys.